the iconic Green Russian is considered one of the most bass-friendly big muffs from the Electroharmonic Softec series. It's an all-time favorite of many bass players because of its generous lows, punchy mid-range, and lower distortion level. I would even go as far as describing it as a nasty big bottom overdrive. Now in the last video, I did say that I would not spend 300 to 500 euros for such an effect. However, if I did have the money for that, I would probably think about it. What is curious about the Green Russian Softec series is that they tend to sound a little bit different from one unit to another. And that is due to a slight variation of components and or their values. So some might have more gain, others more volume, and some have a tone that's a little bit different. But it's just minor variations, so no worries. The unit we test today was bought new by its owner some years ago and uh, it does have some issues uh, for example the foot switch doesn't always work the led uh, doesn't always work either and uh, well it's got some reliability issues so it's definitely a pedal i would uh, keep in a studio environment and i would not necessarily bring to a live session okay with this out of the way let's hear what it sounds like at a slightly higher distortion level I don't know how to describe it exactly, but I love playing big mouths because you have the impression that you're not playing a bass anymore, though it still sounds like a bass, but distorted. So I guess the only reasonable thing to say is that it just feels good, especially at lower gain level. Out of all the fuzzers that we tested in this channel for the moment, this is one that combines the best with the OC2. Note also that the OC2 tends to uh, combine better with a lower gain fuzz pedal. Let's turn up the distortion knob to almost 12 o'clock and do the same with the tone knob. Uh, however, we are going to turn down the volume knob of the bass guitar about a third, and that helps to clean up the sound from the big muff and let's play some blues.
it's in these situations that I miss having a blend knob. Now, it's not essential because the pedal sounds awesome by itself. But um, yeah, I do miss a little bit of uh, dry signal. It's curious also how with less volume input, the Big Muff uh, just tends to boost the bass a lot less. And that's why I always describe uh, Big Muffs as uh, nasty overdrives, because they end up sounding like, you know, mid-gain overdrives, which is pretty cool because it's got a different flavor than regular overdrives. Let's listen to the pedal on its own now. But before we do, please like and subscribe. If the feeling takes you, I will greatly appreciate it. Next week, we will uh, test the EBS multi-drive, the first generation in the overdrive series. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Because the Electro Harmonic Softec uh, Green Tank, Russian Big Muff Pie Torfront, what a name, uh, is such an iconic pedal. Um, it's also a reference, a sound reference, if you will. And um, so that would probably be the only reason why I would get one, just to go back to that sound that is uh, a reference. <laughs>